Hey everybody, Nick here. Welcome back to another Payday 2 video. Really excited that you're here and I hope you guys enjoy the Sociopath build. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to the guys in the Discord for really helping me out with this build. Give me ideas, weapons to use, skills that I should use, things that would really be beneficial to the build so that I can bring a good video to you guys. So hopefully you enjoy it. I do want to give a quick disclaimer and I think I mentioned it in the video as well, but there are a few things in the video that I would personally change, uh, such as maybe um, having... Uh, attachments for my secondary that I'm going to be using or uh, maybe a couple of shifts in the uh, skills that I'm using so just keep in mind that uh, when you're taking a look at this build that there are things that would probably be better and that uh, there are better things that you can do with this so regardless I hope this gives you a good starter point of where you could go with a sociopath build for Desan and sociopath is a perk deck that is most definitely viable for death sentence one down so I hope you guys enjoy it besides that guys if you haven't joined the discord yet uh, feel free to press the link in the description down below We'd love to have you. Peace out. How's it going, everybody? Nick here. Welcome back to another Payday 2 video. And today is episode 9 of our perk deck series, and we're going to be going over the Sociopath perk deck. So first, we're going to take a look at the overview of the build, take a look at some weapons, the perk deck itself, the skills, and then we'll take a look at some gameplay. Just to kind of give a quick overview of the build of what we'll be looking at for our armor, we're going to be using the ICTV, using the Doctor Bag for our equipment, we'll have the Brenner 21 Light Machine Gun for our primary, the Broomstick Pistol for our secondary, Dynamite for a throwable, now of course this is kind of um, up to you, but I just was preferring the Dynamite in this situation. I'll be using the Katana for our melee. Uh, as you can see, we're kind of spread across, but mostly in these middle three in Ghost, Technician, and in Enforcer, and then also we'll be using, of course, the Sociopath Perk Deck. Alrighty, so taking a look at skills. Let's go ahead and start in the Mastermind Tree. We're going to be using Combat Medic Basic, Quick Fix Basic, and Combat Doctor Ace. Now, this is kind of up to you, and honestly, uh, after talking to some guys in the Discord, it might end up being better to bring extra lead with some Bullet Storm, especially since we're running an LMG, but I always prefer bringing meds. I kind of feel like there's no shortage of meds anyways, so you might be better off. That's, again, maybe another point for bringing ammo bags, but anyways, that's what I'm comfortable using, so that's what I'm bringing. Quick Fix helps us get down those Doctor Bags faster, and since we aren't really doing any uh, amazing reviving... Uh, We'll have a full timer when we go to revive. We don't need painkillers or anything like that. Stable shot basic for a pickup to help with stability on our LMG. Now in the enforcer tree, another pickup, underdog basic. We'll have resilience basic with transporter, diehard, and bullseye basic. Shotgun all and Iron Man ace to get that ICTV and to help take care of shields. I have the scavenger basic. Technician, another pickup, a hardware expert basic help a little bit with some drill skills. We'll have City Grip Ace, Lock and Load Ace, Surefire Ace, and Body Expertise Ace to help get some extra damage when we're just spraying with our LMG. Now for Ghost, I will be using Duck and Cover and Parkour Basic. This helps with mobility since we're running the ICTV. Second win, Basic. The Professional Ace since we're both of our weapons are going to be silenced. This helps with uh, having accuracy as well as stability and faster uh, ADS time. We'll also be using high value target ace. This helps a ton with taking down dozers, other specials that we'll be facing, especially when you're using the broomstick, which has a lower uh, mag capacity, um, unless you're running like extended mag, anything like that, um, which I would highly recommend for you to do. Regardless, this allows us if we have high value target to take down dozers from uh, either a further distance away, or even if they're up close, we'll do a ton of damage and to add on to the damage we'll be using unseen strike to help us have a higher crit chance now for fugitive i picked up a few uh, pistol skills to help with the uh broomstick and you'll see when we go to look at it here i'm not going to have the attachments that most of you are going to have i don't have them unlocked and i just don't feel like taking the time to unlock them but of course you're going to want to unlock those they're going to help you in the fight of doing whatever you're doing on desod so but gun nut is also really helpful especially if you aren't running extended mag for your broomstick this helps you have five extra bullets you'll see in the gameplay that i actually didn't half this equipped at the time that's just one of the skills that i was missing doing a different version of the build but i'd highly recommend it for your broomstick since we're running on d side you're going to want to have an extra down so we'll be using nine lives martial arts basic to help take a little bit less damage from melee and bloodthirst to do more damage with our melee let's take a quick overview of the sociopath perk deck now um First off, we're gonna have Overdog when you're surrounded by three enemies or more, you receive 12% less damage. Your second, each consecutive melee hit with within one second of the last one will deal 10 times its normal damage. So just spamming those melee attacks, that'll help you out. Tension, killing an enemy regenerates 30 armor. 
This cannot occur more than once every one second and you gain an additional 10% armor. This is huge, especially when you combine it with clean hit, which gives us 10% more health when we kill an enemy with a melee weapon. It can occur more than once every one second. Uh, we also receive 8% less damage within a medium range of an enemy. This is amazing. If you are getting kills through your katana, which is not hard to do, and I unfortunately I feel like with this gameplay, I don't utilize it as much as I should have, but you'll see me in certain scenarios that uh, if you're getting kills with your katana, not only are you regenerating health but you're also regenerating armor which is insane loss of overdose killing an enemy at medium range recovers 30 armor this helps even more when you're up close and personal with your katana and we'll have showdown which is killing an enemy at medium range has a 75 percent chance to spread panic among your enemies this can be helpful and if you pay attention at least in the gameplay you'll notice that uh this does happen um it's not as noticeable when it does, but you'll also see since I'm running Vanilla HUD Plus, see down at the bottom, you'll see the three uh, exclamation points pop up that shows that it did pop. So it helps more than you think, you just don't always notice it. Alrighty, so for our weapons, we're going to be using the Brenner 21 Light Machine Gun. Now, I do want to go ahead and give a quick disclaimer, especially for the broomstick. I'm sure I don't have these uh, perfected or at where they should be exactly. Um, I had help on creating this build in the Discord and ended up just kind of making my own uh, pistols and kind of uh, changing skills around a little bit as well. So they may end up screaming at me on the other side of this video, <laughs> but uh, just keep the, you know, take this with a grain of salt. And whenever you see things, you're like, I don't think that's right. It probably isn't. <laughs> So adjust this build, uh, whether it comes to skills, weapons, etc., um, according to either what you prefer or what you think is better, and you're probably right. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to see what you guys think about the build and about the weapons as well and how I've constructed them. So for the Brenner 21, uh, feel free to pause if you want to take a look at stats, but you'll see it as we modify. For our barrel, we'll be using the long barrel. You do have a little bit less in damage, but you also have accuracy and stability increase. We don't care about concealment, so the bigger the better suppressor. This helps uh, only take minus one in damage um as well as of course when you have a barrel extension the bigger the better suppressor you have accuracy and stability increase we have the lion bipod on for looks because i think it looks cool uh we'll be using stability for our boost for our foregrip we have none for our charm we have none for our gadget we'll be using the led combo also helps with stability and we'll be using the ergo grip for our stability now for the broomstick again Take this with a grain of salt and feel free to pause if you want to look at stats. But for our barrel extension, we'll be using the Medved R4 suppressor. This doesn't take as much damage, but also adds accuracy and stability. For our boost, I don't have one equipped. I'm sure I could buy one. If I was to choose, you probably are going to want to go with stability uh, just to get that up to 100 from what I have it at the moment. And of course, as you equip other things that you have unlocked for the broomstick, stats will change. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but I don't have one currently equipped. For the gadget, I have the micro laser. Now, this is where I would really suggest getting this high capacity mag i don't have the uh damper l44 nozzle and barrel sight 44 which you can unlock for the broomstick if you get 25 kills in stealth with the trench knife i believe so i just didn't feel like doing it <laughs> um when you're using this build if you're like i really feel like i want to get these other stats for this broomstick i don't blame you and i'd say go for it of course this is the barrel sight 44 and kill 25 enemies with the trench knife in stealth so uh keep that in mind if you want to get that of course it's going to be a big um sniper on the side which i do think is really cool for our slide we're not going to have one but the precision barrel if you're okay with the lack of having total ammo but having a plus 110 damage which would be insane for dozers i'd highly recommend it and stock for the holster stock of course don't have it but it does increase your stability by a ton and of course these uh the slide and everything else is also increasing your stability so you'll end up having max accuracy and stability by the end of it anyways now that i've taken a look at weapons the overview the skills the perk deck and everything in between between. Let's go ahead and take a look at some gameplay. All right, death sentence one down. Running some sociopath. You know how it goes. Virtually just going to be using uh, the katana and the Brenner. What else more do you need? Pick up some uh, some fancy boards. I kind of feel like I've recorded Hotline Miami recently but i'm sure it's fine you guys love hotline maybe right i don't know why i did that i'm stupid ignore it ignore it nobody saw anything it's fine um money wait <laughs> oh all right <laughs> honestly sociopath is really good if you haven't tried it before this is your wake-up call this is it this is your time to try some sociopath. Oh, I already have boards. 
Uh oh. Don't play like I do though. I'm half awake. <laughs> he just did. <laughs> I respect it. Ooh. You definitely want to try and focus on some melee kills, but sometimes that's a little bit difficult. Definitely uh, getting those melee kills, things like that, is what's going to allow you to get some health regen. Um, I also think it might be a good idea, maybe. might be Hostage Shaker if you have points for it. But I think that kind of just can apply to almost any build. That's just my personal opinion, though. I'm sure people will disagree with me on that. By the way, shout out to the boys in the uh, in the Discord, not only for helping me make the build, but also for being in game with me. All these guys in the Discord. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, talking about payday, builds, everything in between, feel free to uh, stop by the uh, by the Discord. Link in the description. For the most part, we're all just hanging out, doing our own thing. It's a fun time. You also can do some massive damage with Unseen Strike. It's pretty wild. Also, it's just really fun to uh, to play with LMGs. It's literally just a point-and-click adventure. I'm sure I mentioned this in the build, but uh, it's probably a good idea to maybe... I guess it's really up to you, depending on how much you want to depend on ammo consumption, etc. But having, like, the precision barrel or... I think that's what it is that actually affects damage for the broomstick. That might be a really good idea, just as a backup in general. And who knows, I may... By the time I'm recording this, you may see this footage, and then I'm the one that ends up changing the uh the build to have the correct attachments and things like that so so if you're seeing this and there's different things just 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 ignore that i'm sure what i have adjusted is gonna be better off Ooh, does absolutely nothing i mean i guess it's not entirely true but feels like it i'm just gonna slap down a uh a doctor bag down here and then we can put down the other one elsewhere if need be. But right now, we pretty much just have everything on lock. I kind of feel like day two is where the majority of the uh, of the craziness is going to be coming in. I also suck. Uh, we have high value target, and I just forget half the time. Um, <laughs> if you have high value target... Just be spamming F or whatever. No. Uh-oh. That might not be good. Need to be less greedy. <laughs> See? Oh, he does have Inspire. Nice, 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 nice. I couldn't remember if he did or not. Hello? I want to... <laughs> I, <laughs> I wanted to use the Katana so bad. <laughs> I somehow didn't get hit by that, and I'm not really sure how. I believe in you. No, no, I, I wasn't paying attention. I was so busy watching them run over. Okay. The broomstick's so good, man. I really would suggest the extended mag. I just didn't have things unlocked, at least by the time that I was recording uh, things that I was doing. Follow the heart and the and, and and I can't see I can't see anything. I got stuck. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, if you're not like me, don't get too um, just don't get too greedy. Just keep replenishing that ammo by getting kills. Or uh, armor, I mean, not ammo. Uh, you'll do great if you then if you just uh, also get kills with your uh, katana or things when you have the opportunity with uh, any kind of melee that you choose that you think's better that you like better. Um, be able to replenish that health, man. It's the way to go. I'm pretty sure that I have one point that I haven't spent. 
<laughs> I'm chalked. It's always just fun to swing around a katana. I mean, nobody can disagree on that. Yo, my ICTV self isn't going to be able to handle running all the way over here. I mean, and if it's not apparent, this is definitely DSOD viable. Um, 100%. And just a quick note, I had made the uh, the comment that uh, Burglar was not DSOD viable. Just for the record, I had a gentleman in the Discord. Not driver Stalin. Definitely changed my mind, man. We uh, we ran a, a D sod heist and it was barely touched. It's barely touched. <laughs> so come into the Discord, ask him for advice on how to run a D sod build with Burglar because <laughs> I'm not the expert, obviously. <laughs> Can he hit me from there? This is definitely going to showcase, uh, I think, Sociopath a little bit better on how well you can manage armor and health with this with this uh, perk deck. Point and click adventure. Get out of the way now. <laughs> Good work with the Thanatos there, Demonus. Proud of you. Okay, hold up. And if you are running this build, just remember that you have high value target, because it does a ton. Seriously useful. Also, I'd really suggest running the extended mag with the broomstick. The reload can be an issue. Or running some kind of uh, reload skills. That's what I would say is definitely the uh, my biggest issue with what I've done with this build. So, do as I say, not as I do, I guess. Maybe slightly what I say and slightly what I do. I don't know, man. Just take what I do and make it better. <laughs> and that's not hard to do. What? <laughs> I wish I had a, like a voice line for taking out medics, too. Oh man, I go in here, grab some meds real quick. I'm also, oh, there were meds in here. Where am I getting shot from? It's so much fun just clearing rooms with a katana, man. <laughs> If you want to have fun with melee weapons, sociopath. He's taking care of that. Kind of just shooting into the void at this point, but also spamming F to, to see if I can catch any special units. <laughs> Why was that a faint gotcha? So weird. I can't see. I'm swinging. I apparently killed a bulldozer. I can't, for some reason, 
I can't spot him with high value target right now. Or spot him in general is really what I meant, but. Go ahead and get a quick reload in, although we're starting to run low on ammo, so we may have to switch to the broomstick for a little bit. And if it's not apparent, you definitely want to go for headshots to help with uh, having bullseye. Um, get some of that armor back. I think the reason I like the Brenner than most LMGs is just that reload time is really not that big of an issue compared to uh, compared to other other options. Uh-oh. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I'd say definitely uh, if you are running high value target, which is something that I uh, don't do often, actually. Um, but it is really good. And you, since it's something that I don't normally do, I have to remind myself often that I'm running it. So if you aren't... Well, I guess if you're like me and you don't run high value target very often, you might want to practice a little bit just like constantly spotting, which I guess is what you should be doing anyways, but you know, I'm I suck at this game and don't often do that. I don't I don't think about it very much. Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh. When your shield breaks, you definitely want to get to cover. <laughs> that's definitely uh, an issue, but that's really your only issue. Use melee as much as possible. Get as many kills as possible without putting yourself out there and being stupid like me. That's the conclusion of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.